Hey guys, this is Table44. This is your boy Stefan, and welcome back to another episode on the podcast. Today we're going to give an update on the Table44 crew, but we'll be focusing on vacation today. Hey Adrian, can you tell us more about this episode? Yeah, I think I could do that. What's going on, listeners? This is me, Adrian. On today's episode, we'll be giving you updates on the podcast along about talking about vacation. Back in late November, the annual family trip was to go to Mexico. Are you guys ready? Yes! yes! Yeah, let's go. Cue the music! This is Stephanie. This is Andre. This is Adrian. And this is your boy Stefan. And this is Table, Table for Four, a family, family conversation, conversation podcast. podcast. So on today's episode, we're going to be giving up an update on the Table for Four podcast. Mm. There's a lot of things that have been happening. A lot. A lot of things have been happening. So good things. Uh, some good, some bad. But uh, just to follow up on the latest episode from Stefan's journey, uh, I want to appreciate uh, all the listeners out there. Thank you for listening. And you know, listening to our story and trying to figure out what's going on and joining us on our journey. Yeah. Um, the yeah. last thing we we found out recently was um, we did a DNA testing, right? I forget. Um, we did a gene sequence test. Right, right, right. So from there, what did we discover, Andres? Uh, well, the whole process was they wanted to find out uh, if he was born with any genetic abnormalities. Right, 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 right. So he got tested. They did a blood sample or saliva sample. I think they, they did, did both. both. They did both. Yeah, and it yeah. turns out uh, they usually test for the first test was they test for all the different uh, abnormalities that are out there. So there's like 229 mm-hmm. different gene abnorm- abnormalities right. that can cause different effects to the human body. Right. Right. So then uh, that one, it came out inconclusive the first time. Right. It was right. mostly everything was pretty much normal except for like three uh D- three protein, three pro, pro excuse me, three protein DNA strands. Right. So there was so from that test that he initially took, we had to take, we had to take the test as well. So yeah. we did saliva. So samples we, had to take, we had to take a saliva test so that they can use our samples to compare it to his to see if there was any abnormalities yeah. that they would discover yeah. from there. Yeah, because because of those three strands, when he was hospitalized in August, uh, when he when they gave him a, a new medication. Uh, that medication did not bond with those strands. Right. They said it was... For him to be on a therapeutic level. Right, right. So at that point, um, we got the follow-up. We were able to send in our sample, and they told us that we are carriers. So they said that you were... I have two of the protein protein DNAs that... uh, that um, like contributing that to, contributed to strokes and seizures and epilepsy. And I have and she one, has one. I have one of the carriers but, as right, well. But then in my family, no, not, not that I know of anybody in my family has seizures or epilepsy. Yeah, and nobody in, in her my family, family either. either. So it, it's, it's, it's super kind of, weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we don't know. Like, so now I think we, they want to do like a whole family history assessment with us, and they want to sit down and talk to us just yeah. to see what other. Uh, what other things could happening and could be brewing. I right. mean, for myself, I have a um a blood disorder that I have a protein C, protein S deficiency. Um, that's just a fancy way of saying that I have a tendency to clot a little bit more, and that has dealt with a lot of the things that I've had in my health itself. So in, right. in my health, I've had I suffered a couple of DVTs, which are deep vein thrombosis, that I've been hospitalized for a long period of time for those as well. I've also had um, extreme anxiety, extreme de- um, at, to the extent that it is debilitating at that point, along with depression and PTSD. So, you know, those things um, might not contribute to the abnormalities, but that's something of a history on my side. And on my side, we also have uh, Alzheimer's and my aunt had dementia and we are prevalent in diabetes. So... That's just some of the things that, on our family side that I know of. So I don't know if you know anything on your side. On my side, the only thing I know, uh, I see my mom has high, high, blood, uh, high cholesterol. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, not high cholesterol, high blood pressure. Okay. Uh, 
my grandmother, she had a glaucoma. She had glaucoma, right? That's about it. That's but that was basically really it, though, right? Yeah. yeah. That and was then nothing- my grandfather had a. He was diagnosed with colon cancer late in life. So yeah, other than that, like yeah, but other nobody than in my that, family they has had any issues with like seizures or epilepsy or anything. Not that, that I know. Super of. weird, right? Yeah. That's super super weird. But I know that when we're looking into doing, re- we we didn't really dive in into the research and things like that, just to try to figure out what could be the causes of it. But at this point, you know, we're just glad that. He hasn't had any incidents yeah. uh, since September. August. So, August, excuse yeah. me, August. Since the last time, August, yeah. So that's, that's great. And then we're just going to continue with medication and continue with the doctor appointments. You sure? You, you sure? You're not okay? <laughs> <laughs> what was the answer I always Answer's says? like, are you sure there's nothing wrong yeah, you with sure you? sure there's nothing wrong with you? So, Stefan, tell us a little bit more about your update. Like, how have you been feeling? Um... I'm feeling fine. <laughs> fine is good. Fine is you good. feel like you're back to normal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where, the question is, were you ever normal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, no, but, but you got to understand, us as parents, we, we had to take precaution. We had to be on top of you to make sure... You don't hurt yourself because, you know, because we were scared. We didn't, we didn't know. Yeah, we were We don't know nervous. if it was going to happen again. But luckily, like, knock on wood. Knock on wood. <laughs> you know, there you yep, go. Knock you on go. wood. Then you're good. You know, you're good for now. You know, until, you know, hopefully no more, no more incidents. Yeah. So that's what we're just trying to keep up with that. And his health has been great. And, you know, just trying to keep everything with school and just keeping pushing forward. Right. That's the only thing we can do. Yep. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> but um, with everything that is, you know, that has been going on, uh, the the Molina household has been full of emotions um, just for many, many reasons. Um, I recently went back to school and at this point it was about me repeating a new semester of uh, another class because I had failed at the, the semester before. Now, at that point, I didn't realize how much. I think sadness uh, that came with failing a class and feeling like a complete failure. And it was like really difficult on myself and my self-esteem and things like that. But I I think it really affected everybody as a whole because I wasn't sure if I can continue with school, if I'm going to be able to try to do these things, you know, nursing school is very difficult. And I just felt like, what's going to happen now if I'm not able to do these things? You know, am I ever going to be ever to be good enough to be a nurse? Am I ever going to be able to finish class? Am I ever going to be able to get through these right, exams? Right. So a lot of it was really me crying on a daily basis and just like, just this fear of like failing miserably again. And I felt like a lot of it fell a lot upon the kids and the kids were feeling that something was off with me. And, you know, just thinking back, like I have to find my footing again, yeah. you know, and when you find your footing again and you're able to kind of gain back your confidence, then it's like, again, it's a struggle. Everybody's been struggling in general. I know Adrian, you've been struggling in school. You want to tell me a little bit about that? Mm. Not really, huh? No. Why not? Why don't you want to talk about your struggle in school? We all struggle in school. Mm. I think another, I think a reason why I don't want to talk about it is because like, it's like a lot. It's like a lot of um, stuff, you know, a lot of um, schoolwork, a lot of, you know, stuff, a lot of stuff. But that's life. Yeah, but that's life, though. Uh, you think, think school's hard now? Wait, wait till you finish school. Like, it's, wait until you get yeah. into high school. Yeah. You're not school even, of life is hard. No, no, wait until you get into college. Yeah, wait till you get to college. You're going to have your college. own dorm and I hope I'm going to get my own cats. When I, when no, I, if you if you're going to a dorm, you are not gonna have any pets allowed. I know, <laughs> you know that. Then why are you saying? But yeah, Adrian, I, I want you to tell us a little bit more about why what you're struggling with in school because I struggle with school as well. But I want to know a little bit more about what is it that you're struggling with. Well, I think one of the main subjects I'm struggling with is like science because I would say like science and like ELA for me. I think it's because of that because like science, it just sounds confusing to me because like. Like force of gravity, force applied, and force of friction. It just doesn't make sense. Well, it makes sense. It's just that, like, it just gets me confused. And I have to find out, like, Newton's first law, first law, second law, and third law. And, like, it just doesn't, it just makes me confused. And it just, 
I can't really answer it. I mean, I know it sometimes. It's just that when I know how to answer it, it just doesn't come out the way I want it to. Mm-hmm. And like for ELA, I don't have a difficult time reading ELA. It's just that like, I don't think I'm reading fast enough because I feel like I'm a slow reader. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But I think a lot of it is the material that's now coming up. Did you feel like you lost a lot of time during the pandemic? Like, did you lose a lot of study time? Did you lose a lot of learning time? Like the material that's new and completely different. Do you think that you lost time in between? I feel like I, I feel like I skipped a grade without no knowledge because <laughs> I feel like sixth grade. You skipped two grades. Yes, yeah, two <laughs> grades you skipped. But I feel like I haven't learned anything from fifth grade or sixth grade. So I feel like ever after, like ever since the pandemic started, I feel like I've learned nothing. You're not the only one. You're not the only one. But the but the thing is, is that now a lot of people are now in promotion and doubt because nobody's really passing their grades. Nobody's doing their assignments. And I think like, how is it that that's been struggling for you? Like, how has it been hard for you? Cause you, do you feel like you don't want to do the assignments? It's too hard. Like what, what's really going on? I feel like I know I can do it, but I feel like it's either too hard or like, it just sounds too confusing for me to even try. Cause like the teachers always say, Oh, try your best and like try something. But like, if I try something, I don't want it to be something that's wrong. I want it to be something that's right. But you won't know unless yeah. you write it down. Because yeah. I want to put an answer that's correct, but I, but I want to put an answer that's not wrong either. Listen, life is about not being correct. It's about... <laughs> what? Yeah, nothing in life is correct. You got to make your choices. You got to fail to get the right answer. What? Huh? That makes Confucius say. no sense. No, nothing... Like <laughs> what I'm saying is like you have to throw something. You won't know if the, if the answer is right unless you write something on paper. But I don't want to write something that's doesn't completely matter. wrong. You have to write something. You gotta write not, something because then you don't get no credit. Yeah, you get you zero. You know how the school is? You gotta get a zero. Yeah. You know, they're gonna give you a zero for not writing anything. But I just I want it to be I'd right. rather you have like a thirty or forty than a zero. Yeah, because at least there's some effort that you try to put some some thought into it. But I just want it to be right. I don't want it to be wrong. I want like I want it to That's have not to be right. You, you won't then, know. Then you got to study. Yeah, you have to study. Read the books. Read the books. You got to go over the material. Do they teach you how to study? Do they teach you how to do certain things like reading techniques, things like that? Mm-hmm. No, not really. They not just really. like tell us like, oh, just study for the test. But they never really tell us like how to study. They only tell us like to study in increments like. Study for like 30 minutes, take a 10 minute break. Study for 30 minutes, take a 10 minute break. Like increments of okay, like how. But that study. works, but I don't even see you do that. Yeah. <laughs> Stefan, what about you? How has school have been for you? Um, fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm passing all my classes except for math. Okay. Having like an 81 in ELA, a 74. Five in history mm-hmm. and um eighty six in science, but I keep changing, so I can't. Really, like, I don't really know. But the question, the question I, I'm asking is, do you feel like you lost a lot of like learning time being in the pandemic? Like, did you lose a lot of time learning, or were you able to just pick it up and learn and move as you go along? Um. I like uh, remote school better. You like remote school better? Oh my god! I think it's because like he, I think he because like he uh, can secretly go on you your phone. Every, I think you and everybody else preferred remote learning to be. Really no, honest. not really. I don't. I don't really. Prefer you didn't it. prefer it because I felt like I had lost too much learning time. I feel like I didn't learn nothing from sixth grade. Nothing. I feel like yeah, yeah. I feel like the teachers like saying, "Oh, remember this from like last year," but like. I don't remember nothing. Nothing. I don't remember nothing from last year. I don't remember Because last year, I didn't even pay attention. Sometimes I wouldn't even go to the classes. Because they think that, like, we're going to go to classes with, like, the remote. We have to be on, like, a strict schedule at home. It makes no sense. Because, like, I have to get dressed to be home? Like, it doesn't make any, it doesn't make any sense. But here's, okay, but here, here we, we have reached the, 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 the level where we are at right now. I would rather go to um, real school. Most likely, mo- definitely going to be a real school. Mm-hmm. Like I would get, I would get dressed to like get moving, get dressed to like do stuff, mm-hmm. and like I wouldn't want to just get up and get dressed for me to just sit in the camera learning stuff. I know because if it, it just doesn't make any sense, because like why would, you're right, 
because I feel like I learned nothing. Like, I understand that like, the teachers are like trying to like, oh, like in remote will help. But like, it just doesn't make any right, sense. Right, But a lot of it, a lot, I feel like between everybody that you guys lost motivation to try to learn, want to learn and try to do the work. So I think that's the reason why people go on vacation. They need a break. Yeah, they, they need, need a break. break from the regular. They need a break from school. They need a break from everyone. They need a break from everybody. So they need a break from teachers. <laughs> the teachers everybody. need a break from you, from you, the students. So I want to talk a little bit about a vacation we took back in November. Now, the year prior, I don't think we ever had an opportunity to really talk about that, right? The yeah. the year prior to that, that we went to Disney. Back in 2020. We didn't we talk, did talk about, about it. it. We did talk yeah. about we it, right? We did? Yeah. We did? Yeah, we mentioned it. We mentioned it, right? Yeah, yeah. Did we, we went to, to uh, Phoenix. We, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, we Phoenix, Arizona. We first and all that stuff. Right, because yeah. the, that yeah. was really at the height of COVID and that we was traveling during that time. And we still ended up having like a really good time in Disney. Yeah. I don't remember. You don't remember? Oh, I don't remember now. I'm sorry. My I, pocket didn't have a good time. Yeah, your no. pocket didn't have a good time. Because it, cause you almost <laughs> dropped your phone. <laughs> Him and you lost your phone during the vacation. Yep. What are you talking yep. about? You yeah, I know. Oh, but I got a new iPhone tw- ele- 11. So the same model. No, you have the XS. No, you have the, the, <laughs> the, the 11, 12s. The 12? Yeah, the 12s. Yeah, you have the, the 12s. 12s. No, the XS has three cameras. No, we have XS. Yes, yeah, we have the know, normal 12. We have, two cameras. We have the normal yeah, 12. Yeah, yeah that's what that's what, what, you, what you mean, excess? 11, no, 12. We all have the 12. We all have the 12, silly. Yeah, but you she said, but she said, no. Me. But what I'm saying is that's the reason why we all go on vacation. But the thing is, you got to work hard in order to play hard. So going back, we had a vacation back in November and we ended up going to Mexico. Now, yeah. that was really, really fun. That was fun. But the thing is, this was the makeup vacation. From Yeah, from Phoenix. From Phoenix, right? Because we ended up going to Phoenix. The reason why we didn't go was because we were missing passports. Yeah, (laughs) two passports. Two passports. So that's the running joke. So this is kind of like the vacation we made up for Arizona and Las Vegas. But we still had an amazing time there. But this was kind of to make up for that part. And um, I just want to know, first impressions. Um. At that time, going to Mexico, like, what was your first ideas? What were your thoughts? What were your yeah. first impressions, like, going on vacation? Stephen, yeah. go ahead. Um, so, when we're, so when we're talking about vacation, we're going to do the good things first and then the bad things. Okay. Well, however you want to talk about it. Yeah, how to do that. Not the bad things first, because that's the worst That's the worst part. <laughs> the bad things first? No, I think we should talk about the first day. You know, yeah, like, let's talk, let's yeah, talk about yeah. it. Let's go in order. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like the good, like the good part. Like you go swimming and stuff. Okay. And no one gets hurt. All right, so we get ready. We're going on the plane. We get yep, on. We get prepared. And, yep. and this one over here. And we land. Yes. And she didn't eat anything. We're all hungry, and then she like just had to drink, and then she was not having it. She she was drunk. Oh, she man, she, mommy got drunk right away. she did not <laughs> like right it. The plane. The, right sec- the, the plane. second. Listen, the, this is the, a- the literal second. We literally no, got off the it plane. It wasn't even the literal second. Here it is. I'm stressing uh, getting on airplanes, getting up early, packing luggages and things like that. And how about you do it before you go to sleep? I did. You we know did. what? We did. What are you talking about? We did. <laughs> yeah, but she said you still have to pack in the morning. No, but it's like getting everything ready. Yeah, it's just a it's a inconvenience to travel. Cause the bus, you yeah. <laughs> they make it so inconvenient. Yeah, like just yeah, because you let us. You gotta take everything we, off in the airport. You gotta take everything out the bag. Your laptop, all the stuff. Yeah, you know, like, it's just like we try to maintain. We try to do things that that we we keep, minimize we minimize everything, everything as much as we can, so we don't have to be yeah. running back. I and wear forth. sweats. I wear my slippers. Everything that's like wearable, I throw them in the bag. Yeah, yeah. So like, I could take less stuff out. So, but it was crazy. Yeah, Mexico but it was, was like crazy. even getting there was like we would, we got there super super early at the airport. We're trying to make sure we get there on time and whatever the case may be. Yeah, so they make it so inconvenient for us to fly. You know, we got to take everything off, everything out of our bags, laptop, yeah. cameras, and all this stuff. So I just wear sweatpants. I wear my slippers. I, I take everything that is wearable. I throw it into a bag, my book bag, so I could just throw it into the scanner. Yeah, and just, just try to through. do things that minimize as much as possible because we don't. I mean, I know I have the tendency to overpack, but it's just like I always want to be prepared. And so 
been going on yeah. vacation. She, she's always ready. And yeah. So going on the plane, we met with who did we have on the plane with us? Yeah, so my brother. Jay. Yep. Jay. Jay. Uh, uh, Jesse. No, no, Jesse. No, no, no. Jesse. No. It wasn't on my. Uh, uh, Yesenia? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, no. They, they met us out there. No, they met oh, us out there. They oh. met us out there. We had uh, Danny, Cal. Sammy. 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 Uh, and who else? Grandma. Jay. Grandma. Your grandmother flew up from Florida. Yeah, grandma to flew Mexico, up. To Mexico, flew down from Florida. Yeah, and then there was she probably, Crystal she, she, and Grace too, right? No, just Crystal. No, no, Just no. Crystal, right? Yeah, no, yeah Grace okay. didn't come. Grace didn't come. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So we're going to move on to the good things that happened. Yeah, so we got, we got on the plane. There was... We had fun. We slept. We ate a little bit. Whatever the peanuts we they gave us. We didn't even eat anything. Yeah, they gave no, us the peanuts, the chips. <laughs> no, you know? I always love no. the brown sugar cookies. What they give us, the cookies and stuff. Well, that, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. This is not air playful. You're not there to get a full service. So, yeah. and I didn't like the fact that when we literally when we first got in the airport, when we were about to leave, you let us literally take stuff out of our luggage. <laughs> this when we got in the airport. Before we left. Oh. Okay, we'll get to, we'll they, get to that. We'll talk to about the another scanner. Another inspection. We have, they have yeah, to yeah. get to that. Yeah, All right, yeah, so, yeah. So we landed. We're walking through uh, at the same time, you know, like prior to that. You're in the parking lot. Right. Prior to that, uh, I scheduled a bus pickup because uh, we had to pay for the, the hotel didn't pick you up. So you had to pay for the hotel. Yeah, that's to pick you up. That's something that. And it was like 90 bucks each way. Yeah. So wow. it was $180. Round trip yeah. for one couple. Yes. For for per room. So we had uh about five rooms. Yeah, we had about like five rooms. We had about rooms. five rooms. So and that so it was it was costly. So we were like, all right, you know what? Yeah. It's better to just rent a bus. Yeah. So I ended up renting a bus for sixteen of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and we just uh, ended yeah, up we were just splitting it. It, it pretty much is like a third of the price of everything. Absolutely. And yeah. they picked us up. Walking out, yeah, but you, you broke you, your luggage. Yeah, I broke my luggage. Yeah, like, you broke the wheel. Yeah, you broke that wheel. You broke that wheel. Oh my god, yep, so annoying. Yeah, yeah, you broke that wheel. You really just got that luggage. I'm so pissed. It's funny because it's funny because oh broke that. God. The second you got out the van, you just broke it. I know it, the wheel just came off. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, you just so broke it. I wonder if it was it was already loose or it was loose already. This is already flying four and a half hours, waiting an hour to go into customs just to get just to get the. Oh my. Our book stamps, oh. and then really you know, I had well. to call the cab, like the bus. I like, listen. They were waiting on us, yeah, because right? the the email said they only wait like thirty minutes, and I'm like, dude, I'm still in the customs line, I'm trying to get. Like, oh, no worries, no worries, we got you, you know, we got you, we, we'll, we'll take care of it. Just keep walking and uh, just go to this area to the concession and stand. See yeah, us. we'll yeah. see us. Yeah, so we saw. Sure we get outside. We had like the name, uh, the Molina the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they held up yep. signs. They held up signs. Yeah, sign we walked us to the to the little yeah, it's a, a, yeah, like so a twenty they, passenger bus. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> they, they, nice so, bus yeah, so they held up signs. Uh huh. And then when you get to them, they just walk you to the van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was pretty yeah. cool. The and van, and was then they put good, the, and then they put your luggage in the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got. It was there, large. The you know, the back of huge, right? Yeah, the back of the van was large. It was yep. huge as hell. The, the chauffeur said to don't buy no drinks at the airport because it's like twenty two dollars a drink. He's like, "Wow, I have a case of beers <laughs> and drinks for you guys in, in the in the bus. Don't worry, don't worry. We got you covered. We got you covered. And that wasn't the best idea. And then mommy got drunk. Yes, yeah, so, no, yeah. So no. Yeah. So, <laughs> so on the way to the hotel, we were like all of us. Uh, uh, somebody busted out a. A bottle of Hennessy, I think it was a Hennessy. I think so. I yeah, think we were just so. listening they to had, music. Uh, the 1942, Jay had this. Everybody had different things, and we we're drinking at the beers and from the cooler, from the bus driver. How long was the ride, though? It was like, the what? ride was like 40 minutes. 45 minutes, yeah, 45 right? Minutes, yeah, right? but it was long. It felt like an hour. So we were just like, and then he just gave me his phone. He like, put whatever music just you want. It was like it a back. party. And I was just in the back, to, and I was in the back just eating my Starburst. I was yeah. eating, I was eating M Ms that people were giving me, and I ate the rest of them because. Yeah. Really so so it, it was a good a good it was fun. It was a good start. It was a good start until yes. we got there. Until yes. we got. Yes. Until we got it was there. a good start until she mommy broke her freaking oh luggage. My God. I All right. Can't. So now that we get to the hotel. Yeah, there's a, it's huge. There's like. 20 hotels in one hotel. Yeah, it's 20 hotel buildings. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we stayed at the... Uh, hotel 19. No. No, no. no we, we were in building 19. Building no, 19. you're right. Yes, you're yeah, right. You're yeah, right. 19. So, so usually I would just run down the stairs and I would be all you to the bottom. Do you remember the name of the hotel? Austin Dental. Uh, the Austin Dental. Right. It, it, we stayed at the Occidental Escoret. As Escoret destination. Or Escoret. Escoret. So Esch. the reviews online, they gave it... 
They were phenomenal. They were like a four out of five stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and everyone had their On own. travel advisor and everything. So, yeah, so like bookings. Bookings, everything. Uh, uh, Yelp. Not, not Yelp. But not Yelp. Um, but Google reviews. Google review. uh, they, they had a good review. Yeah, you but. Know, so usually when we go with our group, our annual, when we do our annual trip, we stay at Airbnb. Yeah. So this time, nobody would have, everyone decided to, you know, let's do our own room. Let's book a, let's go out to the resort. Only because we're in another country. We don't want to rent a car. We don't want to go to the right. town to go we food shopping. Wanna, right, right, right. <laughs> and, and you know what? At the end of the trip, we were like, it, it, just, didn't, it just didn't feel like yeah, yeah. our regular trips. Because usually when we stay at, at an Airbnb, it's, it's, like a, it's like a slumber party. It's like a big you stay up all night, slumber party. You know, bullshit, for sure. drink, cards, everything. You know, get like, drunk. Get drunk. No, everything. Okay. <laughs> not, not you guys, but everybody else. Of course. Else. What, you, you the said, adults, you, the adults. What, you think, what, you, you think we're like going to smoke cigarettes? Right, right. So this one is through, like through after through 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, everybody, everybody just goes their separate quiet. ways. Yeah, it was very quiet. So it was very, it was a different feel. From yeah. Just felt kind and, of like, everyone, and everyone had their own separate rooms in different hotels. Exactly. And that when we would just go to grandma's room. Yep. She, I, I think she was in hotel uh, 20. Yeah, I think they were. We were all in separate buildings. We weren't even in the same building. Yeah, that's, that's another that thing. Was, that we, was another thing. We requested that, to be together, yeah. and they couldn't. And they, they couldn't they, even they did accommodate not do it. us. Yeah, but but what, but each of the hotels were large. No, but the point was that we requested for all of us to be in the same building, but yet we were in different buildings on the different side of the park, and that was already annoying already. Yeah, because the rooms are are big. I know the rooms were big, but it could fit like Adrian, five tell people. Me what, tell me what you thought about that. Well, I thought um. I thought it was pretty cool, like the rooms. Like I thought the service was pretty good, and everything else was great because like the bedrooms were really nice and the beds were really comfy. So I think their experience was really nice, and I thought like for everything we had to do there, it felt like everything had to be paid. We we was already paid technically. I didn't know that at the time. So like, yeah, it was really fun. We had like all these pools and stuff, and basically just. All the fun things you would expect at a hotel, right? But okay, yeah. but for for the kids, yeah, you know, but for I the adults, guess, I yeah, guess. a lot of the activities weren't weren't available. We're not yeah. available. The sports bar was closed early. Yeah, closed early. Like if yeah, you didn't if you didn't eat by eleven o'clock, you were stuck. You were stuck not eating not until eating. the next morning. Yeah, uh, all the breakfast food was bland. It's just. No, the, no, the, it's good. Wrong. The it's hotel, good. the resort is the, nice. The, the food, it was beautiful. Yeah. The ambiance and stuff like that. But yeah, but the ambiance was nice. The ambiance was nice, but other than but that, other like, than that, the activities uh, just wasn't. Yeah. I, mean, I don't we, give it a. F- I would give it like a three, three and a half. Even. Like, yeah, not but, even. Yeah, but yeah, but we still went to Excaret. Right, but right. the thing is, and is that that thing. was uh, the other thing. I'm gonna explain to you why I give it a three out of five. Like I said, number one, since it was a tier two to the Excaret Hotel which is like the sister hotel, the brother hotel, the little brother. Uh, there was no transportation to the parks. No transportation. Given even though they're whatsoever. affiliated with the parks. Yeah, they're like inside of it. Like yeah. Literally the inside, yeah. There was yeah. like, um, a lot of the food wasn't that great. Mm-hmm. Me, yeah. Besides, uh, they had the buffet, the taco, they had pacos, the pizza, tacos, the pizza, the, and the, it, like, it all, all the side food bars that were really good were okay. I, you know, I thought like, the, food well, the restaurants were, eh, they were okay. It wasn't like, 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 what did you think, Adrian? I thought the food took too long to cook. I think it was just me. Yeah, but it, it was could, worth it. It wasn't really that worth it, to be honest. I've had better pizza than there. Yeah, because I felt like the pizza, like I know it's like wood fried pizza, but like mm-hmm. I feel like it wasn't really cooked all the way. Because I feel like the food was good. Like it was I. It, the buffet downstairs was honestly better than that because the buffet in the morning was really good and the buffet yeah. at night was still good as well. Yeah, because each every each day they had like different themes of food, which like makes it a lot better, like Caribbean food. Or like they mix it stuff. up. They mix it they up. They mix you know? it up. But, but yeah. it's just uh, the thing there's is, so much. There's so much you could eat tacos every day. You know, yeah, like, they, yeah. They had. They had. The, the selection served, for the buffet uh, wasn't that much. They yeah. served omelets, like eggs. For breakfast, they did. For breakfast, breakfast they had like, breakfast. Yeah, that, that was like cookies, muffins, and stuff. They had all that stuff. But I think I think what happens is when we go on vacation, we like to go to places where they have good food, good yeah. meals, things like that. And I think that it was a lot of like a big hype. For this hotel, and like we were unfortunately let down. Yeah. I mean, for me personally. Yeah, but, but, but I know. I like- but I think if we would have stayed at the main Escaret Hotel, I think, I think our experience would probably have been, been different. different. Yeah, for like, sure. Oh my God. No, yeah, yeah for sure. but for some reason, 
it feels like we were at a second ex right? Because we, we were somewhere different last time you we went to Mexico, right? Yeah, the last time we no, went to, we we went, the first time we went, went to an Airbnb. Yeah, we went to an Airbnb. That's yeah. why it was different. We rented Airbnb, rented a car, and then we, we drove around. We drove whatever, around. Everywhere. Yeah. So, so, like, so when we got there, we had, uh, you know, we were pretty much playing our itinerary for the week. So we got there Monday. Was it Monday? Yeah, Monday. Monday. Yeah. So Monday, as soon as we landed, we had a we went to we had a Fuego. Uh, we had a, a Explore Fuego tickets to Explore Fuego. Tuesday was uh, Acela or was no, it No, Tuesday Escar- was Escaret. 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 Escaret, yeah. Yes. Tuesday was Escaret. And then Thursday was when we went to Acela. Acela. Tuesday was Escaret. Well, Wednesday, we Wednesday we had day. off. We had a rest day. We had Wednesday we had off. Right. Thursday we went to uh, Shella. Shella. Friday was a chill day before we leave, and then Saturday we left. Right. Yeah. But in between that time, Yesenia, we threw Yesenia and Ronnie yes, a, we threw a baby Yesenia, shower. A baby shower. Yeah, because uh, the the we're on baby watch right now. The they're expecting my boy Ron Ron. He's expecting. And Jesse are expecting oh, any, so ex- any day now. So exciting! So they're expecting any day now. Yeah, so, so we threw them uh, a baby shower. And that Surprise was really fun. Shower. That yeah, was that really was cool. fun. That was really fun. We did all these games. And uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to get back to it. I promise. I, promise. No, I, did not, I did not enjoy looking at you because. Did you eating baby food? Yeah. Oh. I was that uncomfortable. That video is so funny. <laughs> I, I was uncomfortable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, well, I was uncomfortable. Chance. I'm going to post that. But taking it back to what your dad was saying about the itinerary. What we like to do, we like to prepare things, do an itinerary. So just so we have a better idea of what to do for the day. So then, you know, we're not figuring out what to do. So that first night, I don't know if you want to talk about the first night that we were there. Yeah, no, the it, it was fun. It was good. It, it, was, it, was, it was good because like we had like a first time and like we all slept like we do somewhere different. Oh, it yeah. Just, and, and, and I don't remember the first night. You don't remember the first night? We ended up going to Fuego. We ended oh, up yeah, doing yeah, zip lining. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right, that's right. We went to zip lining and stuff like that. How did you like? How did you forget? That was like the yeah, most but, scary yeah, thing. You know why? Because they didn't let me go zip lining because they said I, I was too big. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Meanwhile, that's I was, right. I'm under the weight requirements. Oh, that's right. They I almost felt yeah. bad because I almost didn't go because your right, dad I, I didn't. Just, go. I hung out with my girl Cap. I mean, we had some good. Uh, some mashed good tacos, tacos right? mashed potatoes, especially the bar, mashed potatoes, everything. Especially the, the food bar, bar was good. The food yeah, bar it was, was literally cool. on yeah, top. Yeah, of, yeah, the food it was, bar was, good. And, and it was on top of a pool. Yeah. Right, it was right on top of the pool. And, and, there, was, the and there was a the, drink bar the under other it. The pool wasn't open, and then the other one was closed. I was a little annoyed about that, but yeah, anyway. One thing I have to say: if you go to all the Escaret parks, the food is better than. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And there's another thing. We went to this beach bar. I, remember, I think I remember that this beach buffet that we oh, go yeah, in the morning. Yeah, that, 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 that buffet was like yeah, really buffet good. Yeah, buffet was good. Really good. I, yeah, I, I th- the beach. it was like better than the it one. Was kind, it was kind of cold though. It was better than the one um, that we, I was like downstairs. Like I had to walk over there. Mm-hmm. Like the buffet, the beach buffet was like a little longer to walk, but it was like right in front of like the beach. Yeah, it was, but there it was, was like, a, it was like a nice view, right? Yeah, yeah, nice yeah but there'd be a golf cart and we'd just pick us up. And oh take us yeah, there. yeah, that's right. I forgot that. Didn't. And yeah, the golf cart would pick it up, to pick us up, and then take us all the right, way. Right, because the park is so it's the, so big. The, not yeah. the park but itself, but the freaking hotel was the, huge. Yeah, it had like a mini, like a mini bus stop. The mini, but the mini bus spots. Yeah, yeah. So then after that, we um we went to the bus buffet. And then and we we all enjoyed the food and like there was like these hammocks that were there they were really they were really nice as well and after that everyone was gonna plan to go to the beach and like have a fun time mm-hmm. so yeah. like everyone was getting drinks as well on the beach. <laughs> Listen, we drank the whole week. We drank the whole entire. We drank week. the whole week. Okay, yeah, but, like, but daddy didn't get like drunk. Said, getting back to to our, our event, our day one, yeah. we went to Explore Fuego. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That that was fun. Yeah, we went we to went, our, We did the ATVs. We did the underwater at night cave swimming. We did qua- the caves. Uh, cave swimming. No, that was on Tuesday. Frigid cold waters. Oh, no, no, that, was, that was on that was on Tuesday. No, no, that was no, day no. one. You that guys was, didn't go with us. You the didn't first go with because you stayed with grandma. Right. Oh, yeah. So yeah, then day yeah, two, yeah. we went to Escaret. Right. Yeah. So now day two, <laughs> everybody gets up, we get ready. You know, like it, it takes. We should have been at the park at 10 o'clock. Yeah. But we ended up being there like 1 at o'clock. 12. 12.30, 1 o'clock. Oh, man. So yeah, cool. it, It's hard to get 16 people. We got to eat breakfast, stuff like that. So by the time we, we get to the park, we go, we go straight to the locker rooms, get undressed, go, to, to go do our first cave, our first river. Yeah. Our first adventure. Our first it was, the weather was river. cold, but I didn't really care. I just swam. The it's, weather was yeah. not that great either. That yes, was, a, was. No, it was. It was. It was raining, but I liked the rain because the rain was, was like an extra addition. It was not. Well, at, at night, it was like that. But no. in the daytime, it was it was, it was was nice and blue. It was and warm. And then we had fun. Yeah, it was warm. Not that not that cold. It was then, not warm. So I'm, I'm, let me get back to, to day two now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
So as we in the hotel, we were in the lockers, we get it changed. Now we we're doing our first river now. Right. right. Yeah, I get so, I get a new so swimming now, suit. The whole time we get to the river, our boy Jay is losing his glasses. <laughs> and I lost the <laughs> water. water. <laughs> The water, he drops it. Now we have to go look for them. Oh, this and, that. Like, and they were expensive pair. Like that's why he was like freaking Damn, out. And the guy that found thing. it, he was like, "You were down." Like, no, this is the like this is that's the end. Throughout the whole river, he kept losing him. Sammy and Danny and all of us, we had to go in the water and get him. Yeah, glasses. but the but the but the life um vest wouldn't let you because it gave you. The life vest wouldn't let you, so they had to take off the life vest and swim down to get it. So now we get to the end. And then uh, everybody's having fun. We're, we're telling them to climb up to the bridge, jump and off. Then, and then and me, they did that. And then me and Jay were jumping off. Right. So then we get to the end of the river, like all the, the there's different levels of the river. Right. You know, so each one has like a different experience to get to the end. And uh, when you get to the end, there's a big sign of Eshkoret that yeah. it opens up. And, and then that was like at least 16 to 20 feet deep. And then you're, you're, you're swimming in there to get to the end. And so then now, Jay lost right, his so You can take again. photos at the Escaret. Yeah. The Escaret sign. The right, because they have these sign. photo booths at, at, at each site. Yeah, you get a photo pass and you can scan them. Scan and you can it. take pictures everywhere. So we did that. So now Jay... Lost his glasses again. No, this before that. Before, before that. You guys go up to take a picture. Jay was like, oh, come on, Steph. Let's go take a picture, my man. Let's go. Let's go. So they go up. They take a picture. The peace signs and all the stuff. Yeah. Everything was cool and dandy. And then after that, we and jumped off. And then after off. that, they jumped into the water. Ready? And let's then- go. One, two, three. Boom. And Jay loses his glasses again. Oh, yes. Wow. Now they're at the bottom of this net. And so, then another. And then the, se- and then the second time right. I jumped. I was no, going you up only jumped once or twice. No. Not twice. twice. All right. So twice. the second time you guys, or the first time he jumped up by himself. The second time was with Jay. Ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Boom, jump. The now sec- we're all looking. Now we're yeah. looking for Jay's glasses. Mm-hmm. At the same time, we're looking for Jay's glasses. I'm with the GoPro looking in the water. I can't see anything. He's like, damn. Now, now I got to. I lost my glasses. That's it. At the same mm-hmm. time, Stefan goes swims to the staircase to go back up. Yep. I just That's cut- when he cuts his leg open. Oh, yes. Lord. I was so close to the side of it. There was mm-hmm. like something sharp there. Mm-hmm. It just cut my leg open. Because I thought, because when I saw it. I, when I was looking up, he said, ow. And I'm like, what's wrong? And I said, and I said, it must be like a scrape or something. And then but does I it look like at the right, and, and it was like, I don't think this is right. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong here. Something's like, it doesn't wrong. look good. So then like when Ronnie and like the senior we went up to go to Stefan, uh, Stefan, Stefan, Stefan was crying. Stefan turned yeah, his leg. Stefan started crying. And yeah. then his leg was like completely wide open. Yeah. And then, and I took a look at it and then I looked and I said, we had to go to the infirmary. We got to go to the infirmary. Yeah. So we got the light guard. I was like, yo, we got to We got to go. Him. We gotta so, go. Yeah, so now we take it to to the. They, they pulled him to the side. They checked his leg. They came to him. The, the, all, the all they did was just cover it up. The paramedics came. They they saw the gash. They were like, "We gotta take you to the infirmary room." Yeah. So, so oh, like, oh my god. I was cold. And I now, was now really like cold. Adrian's like sitting down. He's like panicking. Like, it's gonna be okay. I'm uh-huh. like, yes, it's gonna be okay. Why are you making fun of him? We were all scared because we didn't know what was going to happen. We were all scared. What are you saying? And then we ended up Not having... Not me. I wasn't no, no, scared. But, but his reaction I, is... He was worried about his he brother. He was worried about his brother, no, you know? of course. And, and, I'm now, telling him, and, I'm telling, and I'm telling him, listen, it's going to be okay. It's not your fault. And then, <laughs> after, and then that's <laughs> the bad part. That's the bad part. Right, so now truth. we go to the infirmary. And then they... they well, actually, mom and the, the paramedics come. They had the golf cart. They said, oh, oh we can only take two people. So now they get on the coke cart, mom and, and Stefan, they go to, to all the way to the front oh of the park. God. Meanwhile, I have to walk back to the front in wet and everything. I was and cold then, too. Yeah, and then when we get to the room to the to the infirmary house. This AC it, the AC blowing. is blasted oh in there. God. And I'm it's like, oh real, my it was God. really cold in there. <sighs> I'm going to have to wear a towel. It was really cool. So, so now tell us what happened inside, stuff. So we're inside and they're taking a look at the wound. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, this is not looking really great. Um, they did their best to patch it up. They clean it. They disinfect it. But they said he's going to need stitches. So I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, we don't have the equipment. We here don't. To do then it. they said we don't have the equipment to do it, to do it here. And I was just like, unbelievable. And, like, then, we, and then we had to go to the hospital. Yeah. And then we ended up going yeah, to the hospital. Yeah, we had to go to the hospital. So, we went back to the room. So we, so so we left it. We weren't we even in the park. Two an hours. Hour. No, Not we, even. It, it, it was like an hour and a half. Not even a full hour and a half. We didn't even eat lunch. We didn't eat nothing. So the tickets literally were not used for that day. So we couldn't get a refund. We couldn't get anything because 
whatever the policy is that if there's incidents or whatever that they're not responsible yeah you kind of waive your rights you waive your rights you for anything you sign in, in the beginning at the park or whatever the case was so I was not happy about that but the main concern at that point was that we had to make sure that we get him to the hospital right away make sure he gets stitched up and everybody else we told everybody literally don't worry about it you guys stay at the park finish the rest of your day because it's not fair that everybody else it, we're a big group so it wouldn't have been fair to have the whole group not go and continue with their day just because this happened. Don't right, right. It is a big deal, but it wasn't that big of a deal that, you know, nothing that myself and Andres could not take care of. Yeah, so, so we went to the hospital, we mm-hmm. were in the waiting room, and they called us up. We went into the, the one of the hospital rooms. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They numbed my leg, which it hurt a lot because they numbed right underneath my, my, my um. My the skin, right? Right under yes. the skin, right? It mm-hmm. hurt a lot. Yeah, he had about a 18 and two 18. inch gash. No, like more than that. More three. Than that. It wasn't three because he had 20 stitches. He had 20 stitches. Yeah, so they had 10 stitches inside to, and 10 to stitch the, the, the fat together. The, yeah, the And then another t-shirt. 10 to, for, the, for the skin. For the skin itself. So they had to do, so they had to do 10 internals and then they had 10 externals. So... I didn't go in the room. His dad went in there. With I went him. in, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. he went in. But you told me that it it hurt a lot, but that you felt better, like a little bit afterwards, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. It was nighttime. Yeah, and you you know what he said when he was in there? He said, "Yo, I can't wait to show my friends my scar." <laughs> <laughs> I literally said that. <laughs> oh my god! But between between the stitches. And how much we had to pay for the stitches. We were we were in stitches ourselves. Yeah. So I had to pay out of pocket. I'm uh, still waiting to get reimbursed. Oh, but. but and it was nighttime by the time. I know. It was a long, long day. And then we had to we went to a show. Like the show we went to last time. Yeah, but I still have my leg stitched and I could barely even walk. Like because it hurt so much. Yeah, I know, but I did we give you we gave you town all. We gave you painkillers, I think we did. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think you did. Yeah, no. it's just a good thing they gave him uh, waterproof gouges. Yeah, so and that the he waterproof was, tape, no, waterproof tape. tape. Waterproof. No, gouges and tape. They gave us yeah, both. They, they gave us both. So yeah. at least you're able to still go in the water. At yeah. least enjoy but that, some but of the But then my butt decided to jump in the water. And then All it the started, time. And it, start, and it started coming off. And I had to stay Yeah, out. but you were in the water for a long time before the the bandages started to, to take off. Like he was there for a few hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, be worth, and be there then with we, them. Would, we would change it every often and take a look at it, make sure that it was okay. Mm. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's pretty much gone now. And then yeah. after yeah, that, so, so, yeah, so then it's now, like, gone. It's like a bruise now. It's, we were there till like almost seven, eight o'clock at night, right? Because we went to go show. see the closing. No, well, no, well, no, we went to go see the show. Afterwards. After, after yeah. we went to go yeah, see yeah, the show. Yeah, and, yeah. and after that, uh, it was I, like, I was, was already like a, annoyed yeah, with we the day. All, we I was like, all, I didn't want to do anything. I was like, I just yeah, want to yeah, go the back time to my we, room. By the time we went to go see the so- show, it was like noon. And then after Dude, a while, It was like really late, right? Yeah, it was like noon. No, it wasn't no, noon. No, no, it was like, no. It was the, sun, like, the sun was going down. The sun was already down when oh, we got back to the Oh, you meant to say like midnight. No, no, no. Yeah. It wasn't midnight. It was, no? like, it was like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. It was like... Yeah, we caught like the last 45 minutes of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't It wasn't that cold. It was kind of warm. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, so that was a whole... Fiasco experience, you know, like, yeah, but the show, the show company. was great. The show was great. The show was great, though. But yeah, I'm calling my insurance insurance company to see how how can I pay for this, you know, outside of the U.S. And then uh, I had to call my union rep because I couldn't get, uh, I couldn't dial the one eight hundred numbers from my cell phone, which is weird. Even though I have international calling, so I couldn't dial eight hundred numbers. <laughs> so I had to call union, my union rep to to do it for me. And and then he's like, all right, yeah, yeah. I just spoke to this person. And they said that. You will get reimbursed, you know, but you have to you have to pay out of pocket. Yeah, that was that was, you know, and I think the lesson, lesson learned. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. When you go online and you go buy your resort tickets or anything, park tickets, get, get, get the insurance. insurance. <laughs> get, get the insurance, insurance, which is like ten dollars a person. Next time, I'm always gonna do that from now. Yeah, on. from now on, because that way you're protected. If God forbid anything happens, you know, this was us. This has never happened to us. We've never had an incident like this. that We had to go to the hospital or anything like that in a foreign country, country, in in another country. country. So, yeah. But after that, I felt better. We went to the show. It was good. Right. But here's the here's the lesson that we learned. We learned the lesson. Like, even though that happened, we were still able to enjoy the rest of the vacation. Yeah. Because yeah. like, like, we weren't going to let Stefan stop us from having fun. Yeah, you're what? Not, you're not gonna <laughs> Did you just hear what he just said? You're not going to just 
just waste the whole day. Of course, you know, that's, why, that's why I told everybody else. You, know, you guys go have fun, bro. You know, like I I, we, I've already been. We've been to the park before. You know, we did it because we wanted to go with all our other friends to come to this park, and I, I, I feel like everyone enjoyed the parks. I hope they did. You know, yeah, the I hotel, hope they not so much. I know. We didn't, and, and we had to make our own fun. I got a swimming shirt. It was cool. It was long sleeve. And, and another, another thing is that um after that after like what happened uh we went to like these like exhibits with like all the animals and birds and like oh, butterflies yeah. and all that stuff yeah it was, def- in, it was no, in the it was in the main else. hotel the main on the main hotel yeah there was like birds but, so I was looking at them again like when no. we, when you travel as a family things like this can happen but the the thing that you only can do is to try to do the best that you can and still try to enjoy the rest of the vacation yeah. which I think we still did we I, still I think managed. we did I think our, our best part was uh, when we had the, the karaoke night music karaoke yeah, night yeah, yeah, yeah. no 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 uh, what do we call it uh, I call it uh, music roulette no yeah, 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 yeah. The, the music roulette yeah music roulette <laughs> yeah and musical he almost got kicked out music roulette he almost yeah, got kicked yeah. out who got kicked out no we, we almost got kicked out Oh, because oh, Jay yeah, don't know yeah. how to act. No, because you guys are going to go on stage. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we were doing our own karaoke thing like, at, at the amphitheater. We, were, we took the chairs, we put it in a circle. And so we decided to create this game where uh, we have uh, we had the, the, the little speaker. No, we, but we, there was a big speaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had like a, a JBL, the, the, the big size one. And, uh, yeah, it had an exclamation, an exclamation mark on both. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, so one genre was we all had to pick a song. Uh, we had like different, we did different eras in the 80s, 90s, and then we did different classes, uh, classes of music. Oh, it was hip hop. So, so we all had to bring one in there, and then if not, we had to take a shot, something like that. Right, and, right, right. And it was like good, man. We, we just kept drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking. And, and then uh, to this drunk. day, they always try to get me drunk, but it never works. It never works. <laughs> it doesn't work. I, mean, I drank so, I drank so much that night. <laughs> And no, I wasn't we drunk. did eat though. We, did, we ate a lot. We did eat though. We had a great so meal. Out. We had a meal. Was it at the sushi restaurant? The Jap- was it the Japanese, I think it was Japanese restaurant? restaurant, restaurant? Then, yeah. So we had. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't terrible. It wasn't but was, that was one of the best times we had that night. It was yeah the, the music the musical karaoke. Yeah, that one was really fun. And after we got stitched, a mistake we would have made was to literally waste our whole week and just go back home. No, no, no. But that's I was thing. like, man. That would be a big mistake. We just all go home. No, no, no. But the thing, again, like when we go away on vacation, we want to make sure that we we still have the fun that we can do. You know, it's about being positive and being able to do that. But being there and talking about all the different things, that's going to be another episode on itself because we have to give our full review. We need to have everybody on the episode and tell yeah. us their stories because there's, there's a whole okay, me, bunch like, of I was stories. like disappointed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, usually when we get together, we have a good time. I feel like we did when we were together, but then... Uh, I was let down. I, really, uh, I, I was, was let down. Let down. Really let down I, felt, yeah. I felt like, I mean, yeah, it's like a child. You don't really have like an opinion. We're like, you have an, you have an opinion. Yeah, but, but you traveled not, more than enough to make a, a, opinion. a an opinion. Oh, like, 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 like a, a good, good judgment. Like a good, good judgment, yeah. I felt like, because I went to Mexico like, like this is my second twice time. before. Yeah. Right? I think twice or just, I don't remember. Yeah, no, twice. this is uh, once before. That's it. Once before, right. Yeah, we went to like Escarab before and like it felt like I felt like I was kind of let down. I felt like the food wasn't really that. All wasn't all of that. No, well, that's when we went the first like, time, like but the, not for nothing. When we went the first time, we ate at the parks. We could we bought the meal tickets, right? The, for, the and then uh, since, so we had air, since we had a car, we went to all these different spots. That's true. That's true. And we, we went had to all like these authentic, food, yeah, authentic uh, Mexican foods, tacos, so we ate tortas. Great. We ate great. Yeah, like, like cheap. Yeah, we ate great that, food. That food at the park was really good. Yeah, I know the food at the, and I think that's what happened. We set ourselves up thinking that the food at the park yeah. was going to be like everywhere else, and it wasn't. It was yeah. ten <laughs> times better. The ice I was like, cream. Oh, no. like, I, I always got the mashed potato and the ice cream and like everything else because like it was literally so good. And they had like sushi there as well. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, that hot I was dogs too. Yeah, I was kind of skeptical, skeptical too. And I, burgers, I just, hot dogs, I all that bite, stuff. I would just bite the whole thing. <laughs> he, he, would, he was eating everything. And I was eating also everything because everything else was like really good at the park. Like the ice cream, lasagna, yeah, so macaroni okay. and cheese and all that stuff. Um, so overall, what, 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 what would you rate the hotel, Adrian? I would rate it. At a one, of, one, one of five. One out of five or one out of ten? I make it one out of ten. Yeah, one I out give it a six. I give it uh, a seven point five. Wanna know why? <laughs> okay. I wouldn't say it was the best experience, but I wouldn't say it was the, the worst. worst experience. Okay. Because okay. I felt like 
The parks were good. I like the parks a lot. Like I like the pool. I like no, the but park. the parks is really separate from well, the, yeah, hotel. the hotel. But yeah, like, yeah. if I would say for like the hotel service, I would give it like a decent seven in hotel service. I wouldn't say that because like I felt like when people. <laughs> what are you doing? I felt like that people were um another one making a face. I felt like people were very nice there. And like they were giving us like tips and stuff, like what's gonna happen, like directions. Oh. Yeah, but I know your dad got annoyed the second day we were there, or was it the first day they started asking you questions about a timeshare and stuff? Oh yeah, yeah, there's another See, thing. That, with the, with the, that got me annoyed. You know, like every every building Every room building in the hotel, in the resort, yeah, has like uh, they, they had their own front desk. Yeah, they had right, their own right, front right, desk. Right, right, They had their own front desk. And then they, they pretty much, they're like your, like your guest, your guest services in each building. And but at the same time, they're offering you a timeshare. And I'm like, every time we walk every by, it was time. like, oh, you want to do this? We, that, we can show you about the we resort. We can take you on a tour. Take you on a tour. Oh, we get a free massage. You do the presentation. But by the second day, I was like, listen, ma'am. I'm sorry. Oh, she, oh, your wife scheduled a massage, you know, for the presentation. I said, listen, she's not doing it. Oh, but she signed. I'm like, doesn't matter. She's not doing it. <laughs> I'm paying for it. So, so I'm like, no, she's not doing it. So what do you mean? I said, listen, there's a not for nothing lady. Miss, I said, I did not spend all this money to be harassed about a timeshare yeah, that I we don't were, want. We were, we were bugged. I literally, I literally told her that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she yeah, gave yeah, me yeah. like this look and then the rest of the week. Good morning, Unbothered. Mr. Molina. Unbothered. Good night, Mr. Molina. Have a good day. How's yeah, everything? Yeah, yeah, What'd yeah, you guys yeah. do? This and that. Like now, like the whole timeshare conversation just shifted away, and she never asked me about it again. Yeah, yeah. Which is cool. Which is good. So, but 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 we've been to other resorts where we didn't even nobody ever harassed us about a timeshare. We had a good time other places, but that one hotel was like nah. The way you guys treated us, like with no transportation to the parks, uh, we had to take cabs everywhere. Yeah. Like, it, it was, was just... it was, it was heartbreaking because we were looking forward to like this really grand experience. The pictures were kind of deceiving, you know, the beach could have been more beautiful. Yeah, of course. I mean, the beach, the, the beaches were fun. Yeah, you the know, beach was nice. The beach was, was good. The beach was nice. Yeah, it was a man-made cove. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just nice. nice it was clean, Where clear, blue. Where you mentioned blue. that we had the buffet and it was a beautiful the, the view. The buffet was really nice. Yeah, I thought, the buffet I thought was the really beautiful. beautiful. I thought the beach was like really nice and I thought like the water was really clean yeah, and really yeah, sparkly. Yeah, 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 it, yeah. Felt, it looked like sparkling water because it, it just it was like so sparkly and when I look in the ocean, it, I felt like Moana because it was so beautiful. Oh, Moana, please. <laughs> but, but yeah, it just felt so beautiful. I, at think, the beach. I think what it is is that we, we, we set our expectations so high that we were expecting for it to be a little bit more. Yeah, and, yeah, and that's another thing. We, we all felt the same way. Like, like, what's so different about this trip now from all our previous other trips? And it was the fact that we didn't stay on Airbnb. We didn't stay together. Right. We didn't all stay together. We didn't all stay together. Home. Yeah. That was really what it was. You know, so next time we were like, no, we're doing Airbnb next time. Yeah, That's next it. time. Yeah, for sure. Wherever we Wherever go, Wherever we go, it's going to be an Airbnb where we can all stay or together. Or we could do like a family suite. Something. That's close to Something. Like two rooms close to us to have all Instead of us, of us all Let's in say, different yeah, 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 six yeah, different just, buildings. That was like really annoying. But, you know, overall, I would give it like a six like your dad. Um, some of the play, some of the parts that I did like, I did like that it was close to Escaret, that they had this little river boat that was able to take you, but you could have walked too. You know what I'm saying? I but feel, I feel like even if you walked it, like it wouldn't really help us. Like, yeah, I, I feel like we made it there faster if we walked. Yeah, yeah. Of but course. I feel like the, the group was taking a little too long, <laughs> a little, just a little, too a little long. too long. But but overall. The experience was, I thought it was really good. It I was thought, nice. I thought it, it was, was okay. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty good. And one thing that I just didn't like is that, like, I had to put a shirt on when I had to go to the restaurant. Want to know why? No, you, but you had to dress up to go to no, the restaurant. No, but you had to dress no, up to go the, to the, the restaurant. No, but the buffet yeah. on top, board. over the pool. Buffet over the pool. Oh, yeah. There's a sign there. You have yeah, to, there's you, a sign. You have to yeah, be dressed. Why I'm upset because, like, you're... On top of a pool, you're gonna expect people. <laughs> this is yeah, no, nobody's gonna, gonna come dress, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like, well, I'll, I feel like I'll the get, I'll get this. There was a drink bar under the food pool. That's true. That was yeah, really exactly. Like they were, like, they, they, they were the people. That was really nice too. They were the and they got these, these big scuba masks. You could like swim in the water. It's yeah, like snorkel. So now we're looking forward to our next trip this year. We'll see. We we'll, we'll see where we go. What, what we was what is it you wanted uh, to tell us a little bit more about? Yeah, I felt like I felt like. um they would let the people under the buffet, like, you know, there was like a good bar of drinks. They would let the people that go to the shirtless as well. Yeah. Under the pool, but they wouldn't let us, like, you know, 
I'm not sure because I feel like it's inconvenient because like I feel like you would let people <laughs> okay. in without a shirt because like it's just logic. You're like you're on top of a pool. I mean, what did you expect? Right, 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 right. <laughs> but other than that, I think everything else was good. I was thought, okay. yeah. I yeah. thought the service was nice and I thought the food was pretty pretty okay. What what else. what is your expectations for the next trip? Like, I feel like what what are the, some of the areas that we were talking about visiting next year? Uh, this year, um, uh, Costa Rica, Costa Rica, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico was mentioned. Puerto Rico was mentioned. El Salvador. Uh, Punta Cana Salvador was mentioned. El Salvador. Was mentioned. Japan. Punta Cana. Punta Cana, Dominican no, Republic. China. Japan, China. 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 Japan is not yet. No, 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 not, not yet. Not yet. No. Okay. Japan's yeah, uh, not yet. We, we talk well, about uh, Thailand. We talk about Philippines. Thailand. Philippines. Right. So Brazil. <laughs> no, Brazil. Brazil, no. Brazil, Brazil not, yet. not yet. Not yet. Italy. Italy? Italy? Mm. We were supposed to do Italy a few years ago when, few, before the pandemic. Paris. Shut down. Yeah, I think it was Paris. We were supposed to go with your Titi and Tito. Yeah. I, I, thought, I, I would happened. think COVID we, happened. Yeah, if we, if we went to Paris, I would have thought it would be fun. But, be, but, my, but my experience on the vacation would be nine out of five. A five? No, a nine point five. Really? Why? Not why? Because really? he, had, he had the best pizza in the world to him. He got cut. He got a scar. <laughs> I mean, all about living on the edge. Yeah. No, I put. I say nine point five. As I'm gonna say nine point five because everything was fun except for me cutting my leg. See, you heard it here, folks. You heard it here first, guys. You get so, the 9.5. 9. I'm 5. just taking away the point five because I cut my leg open. I hear you. What? I hear you. I would take away the three point seven, the seven out of ten for me because it was good. That's I just good. felt like I would have given. But we were also- I had way too high expectations. I felt like, oh, the park's gonna be amazing. The park, the park was good, pretty good. I thought the hotel service could be so great, like better beds, like the best food. But I had my expectations way too high. I know. And, I know. Yeah. But yeah, but I but thought it was listen, okay. lesson yeah. learned. Listen, there's That's there's people that don't even go on vacation. Yeah. So we were even lucky to even do that. So that, all COVID and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, and I think a lot of it could have been. COVID related that they maybe that's the reason they didn't have all the activities on or they were closing early and things like that. It could be so many different factors that could have came into that. But I, I, I would say that we were lucky enough to still go and still go on a vacation, take a break, take a break from the norm and things like that. So that again, we have to look at it in that perspective. But yeah. I think that just having this experience with you guys, it's amazing. And we're only going to do bigger and better things from here. Also, guys, don't forget to check out School Commit Fun Convos on Instagram. That's true. Don't That's forget. Yep. Don't check forget. You don't forget. Check it out. So, Adrian, why don't you tell everybody where they can find us? Of course. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Table for Four. Click on that follow button where you can get notifications on the latest episodes. You can find us on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Breaker Radio, Radio Public, Pocket Cast, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and Audible. If you love the podcast, show your support by leaving us comments on our Facebook page. As I said before, do not forget to check out School Commute Convos on Instagram. New episodes will be premiering in March. And we want to thank, to thank all of you for tuning in to the Table for Four podcast. And we will see you on the next episode. Thanks, guys. Uh, we just can't wait to yeah. continue with this journey with you guys. We've already celebrated our first year. First year. First year, one year, year anniversary year. being on the podcast. Yay! So Maybe it felt like soon. it's been so long since the first episode. Maybe what? we can have like a rewind time. Of we like, are. We so are. We're, what we're going to be doing is for the whole month until our new premiere. We're going to be featuring all past guests, past wow. episodes, and we're going to be promoting that on Facebook. Like a compilation of all of it. We're going to do a compilation. We're going to do some cool stuff for you. We're going to be working on a new website. So we're, we're continuing and working on the scenes. Yep, yep. And maybe we'll, may, maybe we'll be able to talk about more vacations we have. Absolutely. We're going to be talking about more vacations because we're going to be needing to take more oh, vacations. Yeah. And well, <laughs> we can probably make a sequel to certain episodes. Right? That's true. That's that awesome. And do follow-ups. Well, we want to yeah. Thank you all for listening to us, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Have thank a great you. night. Thank, thank you, you so much. See you on the next episode. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.